Wag a leg, wag a leg, when will it gang? A summer, a summer, when yows are all lamb. When the cows are all coved and the roads are all dry. I'll gang with me mammy to milk the kai. We've got some uh, children, some young people in there, some families, some older people, people who have lived here for years and years and years, uh, for generations, and people who've moved to the area. And I think as soon as you have an opportunity to bring people together to really reflect about the place where they live, you get some really fascinating uh, introductions, conversations, dialogue. The scale of this project is fantastic. We are going to be creating 500 individually made glass tiles which reflect that individual's um, opinion and thoughts and ideas about the place where they live or come from. It's something that leaves a legacy for people to look at from years to come and for generations to say, my grandma did that or I did that as a child. Come and let's have a look at it. So projects like this which bring people together so everybody's working towards the same end are uh, immensely valuable, yeah. And also um, I think it's immensely valuable for the young people. They don't get an awful lot of opportunity to sort of partake in cultural events outside the Dale simply because it's so difficult to get there. Um, you know, it's difficult for teenagers to travel and it's difficult to get sort of the primary school kids out because of the expense. So bringing things like this, artistic sort of cultural uh, ventures into Weirdale, it's just wonderful. I mean, it's going to be there forever. Glass lasts forever. And I'm sure hundreds, if not thousands of people will come and visit it. And each glass panel is different and everybody's done their own thing um, and it's captured so many different aspects of Weirdo. It's been brilliant. Well I think the only way to um, retain our history in Weirdale and to keep, the, keep it moving forward is to delve into our history and make sure that it's recorded appropriately. Uh, a project like this has been an inspiration to an awful lot of people, the school children, the elderly people. They've been able to give their stories and this, what we're doing now, is something that I think moves us forward and it'll never be forgotten. So when you have a look at the Weirdale tub, what it is, it's a, it's a pictorial um, historical event. You've only got to look at the tub and if, if you imagine 500 uh, tiles there which depict Weirdale, things don't have to be handed down mouth by mouth. It's like opening another book, a historical book. Uh, I think it's a, it's a fine project and I, I wish it every success for the future. Uh, we're making glass panels which the students are going to then place in a pre-arranged uh, mapping which are then going to form the side panels of a large tub which goes in situ in um, Killip Lead Mining Museum and it'll be lit centrally from inside and on the top there will be some sandblasted uh, language which has been taken from creative writing they were done that they did during the day. Well already it's got the children thinking about where they come from, what their roots are, what their parents, their grandparents were involved with and making them more aware so even that small seed of thought is going to sort of filter through and grow through how they think. Hopefully it will help invest them more in working in the community, working together as groups and thinking about what the privileged position they are in today actually is and where it came from and what positives we need to preserve from the past. So working together, working as part of groups and so on. That's my opinion. We've been doing a tub project for Killip Mine. And it's really fun to like learn about the history of where, you're at, where you've been and to do it with your friends. I learned about what they used to work and how like difficult it was and how different it was so now. Like for example like the washing, um, it used to take three days and now it just takes like a few hours. That really surprised me. And the difference is like we have cars today. Well like then you like would travel on like a horse or walk. Uh, this is my artwork that I've been doing. I go like making like anything about walls and like a hill or um, Steelworks. It, it was a little 
farm and there's, there was a little mine next to it to represent like the marble mine and the lead mine. One of them was um, it was to do with the, the, the castle wall which is just actually, actually opposite where we're working. Um, because if you look very carefully, you'll find there are two stones in the castle wall that are representative of animals. One's a fish and one's a bull's head. The other tile that I did was, um, I just did a rough sort of representation of the um, North Penns Writers Group logo to put in. Well, I did a churn and I did, um, my mum always called them the Scotch hands, the butter pats. And I used to love to make the butter. We used to separate the milk and um, the cream used to come out of one side of the, it was like a, a funnel and the uh, uh, separated milk, which they call it blue milk today, would come out the other side and then when you had a big cream pot full of cream and a smaller one, you would churn the butter. I did just um, a landscape because um, I was first going to try out drawing um, an animal but it's, it's harder than it looks actually so I just went for something more simple. I think you really should see more projects like this in Weedale because it's just something new that you wouldn't really do every day, not even like in school. I painted the school badge because the school is quite important to me because it's where I can learn all my education. Just as the River Weir links Sunderland through all the communities upstream here to here at Weir Head, this project is linking children, adults, community groups, members of our communities who perhaps maybe wouldn't have opportunities to work together to talk about something which is so important and that is our heritage, our past. I think anything that celebrates a community's culture heritage is a positive, it's a positive for people to get together, to reminisce, to highlight things and to share stories. The nearest shop is uh, St John's Chapel which is three mile away and of course we have no buses either. You can't get your pension, you can't get your bills paid, so you can't get your shopping. <laughs> I think we're kind of the Cinderella up here. Um, like Mary said, we've lost lots of things, shops and banks and buses and whatnot. So I think it's time that somebody did put some money into this area. Weirdale, it's an absolutely beautiful area, um, but there's not a huge amount aimed sort of in the cult cultural side of things to really get the community involved, I've found, since I've been here. It's brought people together that maybe wouldn't normally come together and sharing stories with each other, learning a little bit more about the heritage, learning about um, how things are and how things were. The history of the place is so important. It has changed over the last three, four hundred years um, and it's important that this is recorded in some way or other um, and this project is just a little way of doing this um, and one of the beauties of it is that it's involving all ages of people. Today in our workshop we've got young children and we've got older retired people like myself so it's, it's lovely, it's involving all sorts of people. It just helps bring Weirdale to other people outside the area. It is such a lovely place to be, but we should be proud of it. And this is a way we can actually take hold of our um, heritage and take it forward and tell people it's just been a, a, a very interesting place to, to live. The project itself will be in addition to, to Killip that can only enhance our offer that we have here. Uh, the whole community's been involved and hopefully they'll come back and see their work in situ and um, it's a good project in that the whole community right the way up Weirdale, including the schools and including the community of Killip and the staff have had a chance to be involved in it. The impact on the community is immense because everybody's been given a, the opportunity to be involved and uh, Killip Lead Minor Museum at one point would have been the focal point of this community where most families, probably their ancestors, lived and worked hard and develop the community, communities around it. It's going to be a lasting legacy to everyone who's been involved with the project. The children were thoroughly invested throughout the day. They were challenged, they were stretched, they were all working to capacity throughout the whole day. I was so proud of what our children did and thanks to everyone's wonderful creativity who came to help deliver the project, we produced some beautiful artwork. I 
would love to see more and more of this in schools. I'd love to see more of this available for our young people and our communities in large to, to actually work on, whether it's groups of one particular age or whether it's uh, vertical groups where we have older people working with younger people as well. I think it's really, really valuable and the more we can do, the better. We are actually making heritage for the future. I think it's a wonderful fusion of the art of the landscape and the art that the community groups and schools are coming together to make. They fuse, a bit like, I suppose, that, that fusion of, of glass being made. So you've got that wonderful link of glass being made at Sunderland, and the end result is actually a project for all of us to enjoy and future generations to enjoy at Killip Lead Mining Museum.